So, something entirely, entirely, totally. entirely different. <laughs> I thought I'd have a wiper, but no. Um, <laughs> girls, I'm in the midst of all this mayhem and horrific and very, very, very hard times in the Middle East all around. Um, it's good to have pretty girls, but it doesn't come without a price. And I'm going into my introduction. Mm -hmm. At 14 years old, Sophia Meshner, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, is, ri is a rising star in the high fashion modeling world. The Israeli native is the new face for the luxury fashion brand Christian, Christian Dior, there you go, fall collection. She could be seen leading a parade of models down the catwalk at a company's high profile show during Paris Fashion Week. But her tender age has reignited the fiery debate over how young is too young to be scantily clad on the runway. With us in studio today is co-founder of your runway workshops for Girls Today Image, author of The Beautiful Woman, and former supermodel Ma'ayan Keret. I want to thank you for being with us. The book that you wrote was called Pretty, All the Pretty Women? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty and women? unfortunately it's only in Hebrew. It's only in Hebrew. Yeah, but it's a book about um, body image. monologues about body image, monologues of models and actresses speaking about their eating disorders. Uh, but, which sadly are as common these days as, as stabbing attacks, but you know, I said that. <laughs> with us also, Maya Kramer, I want to, and she's I-24 News, a morning edition, I'm a fashion I'm a aficionado because this is a very important issue. I want to hear first what some of the fashion industry top executives had to say about this young girl who is the topic of every discussion. Is it, she's 15 years old? So 14. 14. 14. Wow. Yeah. A 14-year-old model. Let's see what an, in the industry, fashion industry's executive had to say about her. I'm sorry to tell you that the, the way people want to see them. The public wants to see them on, on girls like this. Huh? They can identify even it's not the same age group. Uh, that's the girls of the moment, you know. Fashion is about the moment. I'm an opportunist, a fashion opportunist, but there's nothing bad about that because that's our business. Huh? So all of the designers that are contracted to show London Fashion Week um, must, all of the models must be age 16 or over. And um, we think that's really important. Uh, we work closely with the agencies. If there's a young girl that's here for the first time, they'll certainly, they'll be chaperoned. No, I think that the important thing is that we don't encourage young girls to be too thin. So that's the health. And in terms of the youth, we, we encourage not to have girls under 16 on the, on the railway, and more important, to feed them. <laughs> yes. Um, to feed them? Was that to I feed think, them at yeah, the end? It's more yeah. important to feed them. I, I, Mayan, I want to start with you actually and ask you, because you were a model since what age? Fifteen and a half. Fifteen and a half. Wow. Yeah, I think very I still early. had a babysitter. <laughs> at that, that. Actually, I have a boy this age today. You do? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Wow, so you had him at 15. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> see? Nice, nice. So 15 and a half. Yeah. What did you understand? Of that uh, that not point? much. I thought I understand. Uh, I thought I'm mature enough and I can handle everything. But uh, no, it was too hard. That's the, the eating disorder is only one thing. There is a lot more. It's not only about feeding. It's a lot more. It's too much to handle. It's too much stress. It's it's too much disappointed. It's too much responsibility of such young age. When you're trying to even figure out who you are, I'm wondering. I want to ask you about the eating disorders. How yeah. many girls around you had eating disorders? Um, not everybody had. Not everyone had eating disorders, but right. a lot of them had very serious food issues. I wouldn't right. say everybody had eating disorders because this is a very extreme thing. Right. But everybody has food was an food, issue. Food was an issue, but in not in a good way. In a very, um, it's not good to have when you're a teenage uh, food age, um, yes, issues. It's affect your growing, it's affect your moods, it's affect a lot of uh, your personality. Right. Um, today I work with um, young girls, I do workshops, and I can see the difference of how a normal young girl uh, who have normal issues, um, how to build her confidence. It's so much different than how a model should need to, to build herself. It's like impossible, right. you know? It's like the opposite. Like a model is so much uh, being an object. You always uh, buy, you always have to um, work and be as the photographer see you, as the, the stylist see you, as the fashion designer see you. You don't build your own Confident, personality, your own, your own confidence. And it's exactly the opposite. When I work with girls, I always tell them, um, 
be aware and be confident of you, the way you think, the way you, 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 you feel. Uh, be confident to say what you think, and it's exactly the opposite. Exactly, completely from that. And, and I'm wondering, though, when we're listening, Maya, who was the first man who spoke? Um, uh, Karl Lagerfeld. Karl Lagerfeld. Yeah. Um, both of you were regularly at one Yeah, I worked with him, actually. You did? Yeah, yeah, I did. When you hear people like that, when you hear men mm -hmm. like that in the fashion industry saying, that is what the public wants to see. No, the public wants to see people that look like them at the end of the day. Um, I think these girls, and they're always called girls, models, they don't call them women, um, they're dressing them up, um, hair and makeup, and it implies that they're sexual objects, these these young girls. You know, this is kind of it what... It doesn't just imply, I think they are. I, I, yeah. I think, I mean, that's, that, that's, my, that's the frightening thing, they become. Yeah. yeah, and about three years ago, all of the 21 international Vogue um, Vogue uh, did a uh, pledge that they would not hire girls under age 16. I just want to say uh, that age 16 is young too. Yeah. And since then, there has been a Vogue with a girl who was, I think, 13 or 14 because it was an age issue, like the issue, the Vogue the, issue. The Vogue was, issue was the age issue. Yeah, I mean, there. The girls on the runway, again, this girl is 14 years old. It's really young. It's and way too young to I'm start. I'm wondering also because I think it was 20 years ago or something like that, that one in every five girls was destined to have an eating disorder. Yeah. Now it's, I think, three in every five or something mm -hmm. like that. I don't want to mess up the numbers, mm -hmm. but it, it's high, high numbers yeah, of eating. But I, yeah, but I want to... I want to say again, it's not only eating disorders, right. you know? Like when you're a sport, when you're in sport in a very young age, you have a, in a plan, you have uh, goals, you have a very uh, good strategy of how you're going to build it. You, uh, you have a very big support. In modeling, is different. You by yourself, you can be very high in one day and very low in the next day. No one really think of how you're going to build yourself. There is so much more to deal with when you're a young model. It's like impossible almost to, to get. You say you're by yourself. How is the pressure put on you when you're that age? Are they do they tell you? Do they weigh you like every day and say? It looks like you went up a kilo, or how yeah, is it done? Yeah, they don't wait to measure you with a measuring tape like constantly, every day. Every day, sometimes, like in this time of the show season, like in the right. Prêt à Porter, they do it sometimes ten times a day. Every designer you go measure you again ten and times again, a day. and ten times again you yeah. hear yeah. you hear oh you one centimeter is too much mm -hmm. here, you two centimeters, and not everybody measure you the same, of course, because you can't really know some right. of those. So I remember before the shows, yeah. I'm a former a model booker, and before the shows, the girls, before the casting for the shows, the girls would just stop eating yeah. because they would need to get to the so right really, weight. Really yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's not just as, but I think as you said, it's not just the eating disorder. I think it's also the message that it sends about to women, to girls, as they call them, um, in terms of their role in society, exactly. in terms of their role as part of, you know, of Western society. When we hear people saying, that's what people want to watch. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what we're giving them. You are the father of two daughter daughters. Scary. Scary. No, scary. I, I find this very, very, very. Yeah, terrifying. it's not only about the the models and how they feel. It's also about how they affect other women. When you young girls or or, or all the women see this image of a young girl as the perfect woman, as the role model, that's really a bad no, influence. No, the, 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 the woman is, you know, essentially that, you know, that that role is is being some something just to look at. Mm -hmm. Something to look at, a vision mm -hmm. in that respect. Um, it's, we don't have that much time left. I want to ask you really quickly, and Maya, I apologize to you before we also <laughs> give you some updates. So you have um, you have a boy? He's yeah, I have two boys. You have two boys, yeah. luckily for you. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> I, uh, lucky yeah, with them. I have a tiny girl, and I, I find that really, you have a daughter. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Do. How do you teach them not to find um, out to be just Just to make image? them feel good about themselves. Yeah. I mean, I, I associate a lot of, um, you know, I don't discuss her body or eating habits right. uh, with her. Um, I show her that everything is beautiful. You know, she sees full people, and I say, look how beautiful she is. Or, you know, there's no, it's kind of being neutral and about. not saying, yeah, neutral about the way uh, p women look. Mayan, um, Kirit, um, and Maya Kramer, I want to thank you for being with us this morning.